and we are at Leroy's farm. Now Leroy's farms really sound like um, a location in the Lord of the Ring. It is not, you know, Leroy's farm is an actual dairy farm here in New Zealand. We're gonna go dairy farming. But before that, we do some more babysitting. So we're waking up at Andrew's farm and we're having breakfast with Andrew. Homegrown eggs, delicious fresh milk from a dairy farm. It was, you know, everything you can expect from a farm breakfast. It was delicious. Babysitting. Something I don't think I've ever done in my life. I don't get on well with kids. I don't like kids. Uh, they don't like me. They always make a point of telling me that. <laughs> So, to be fair, I'm not quite sure how this is going to go. But the good thing with Andrew and Vanessa's children is they are actually a delight. What are we going to do? We're going to milk some cows. Andrew has asked Robin to help him with a chore which involves a rotary hoe. And for those of you who don't know what a rotary hoe is, it's kind of like a lawnmower with an old rusty engine on the front. It has two rotating blades on the front and two really thin wheels on the back. You push it, it digs up the earth, puts the fresh earth, like under earth on the top and goes on its merry way. But it sort of needs a bit of guidance. It has two handles. You just got to guide it along and just make sure it's going in the right direction. Let's make it clear. This was a painful and lengthy process. This was as awful to do that it is for you to watch me doing it right now. This was a nightmare. It was so hard. Well, a couple of clumps here and there. Yep. We'll give you a nine and a half. Nine and a half, Laura, give me a high five for nine and a half. <laughs> ah, my hand hurts. Andrew has about 370 dairy cows in his farm. And so he's giving us a bit of a tour. Now the two kids kind of like act like cow whisperer over there. The cows are kind of like intrigued and looking at them and they, they kind of line up together. So it's kind of like pretty fascinating how they're really comfortable in front of those gigantic animals. I mean, I'm stressed and I'm about 10 times the size of those kids. All of that has to start because now we have to go and do some dairy farming. So, uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. So the cups have a uh, thing called an inflation. Yeah. That goes on the cow's cup. So you put your finger in there or your thumb, put your thumb in there. Oh, shh. <laughs> and that's, that's what sucks the milk out. Yeah. So I take first try, and uh, basically the car goes in, in the merry-go-rounds and then it starts moving. And while it's moving, I literally just have a few seconds to put the suction cup on the, the four tits so the milk can come out. Oh. Oh. Hey. That's going to happen to me, is that it? But it's much harder to do than it looks because first the whole stuff is moving second the cows maybe don't like me playing with their tits so much and third well obviously they are animals right so they all have different you know size and shape well i failed the first time i failed the second time then at one point i'm kind of like putting them on but then boom, the whole like section kept fall off and i mean it's something you need to get used to to uh, be able to uh, do it properly and fast enough and, and all of that so it takes skills and Robin does a pretty appalling job. Then it's my turn, and at first I'm like, okay, I can do this. The first cow I have, it goes super smoothly. I'm like, oh my God, I'm, an, I'm a natural at this. And then, but then after that, the next five cows, I am completely ruining their day. I can see that <laughs> I put them in a bad mood. Cows are the most efficient animal on the planet. They can eat 
milk and shit all at the same time. And we see this while they are rotating on a merry-go-round. Like, who else can say they've done that? And Andrew, which is also a dairy farmer, is kind of showing me more of it, you know, the ins and outs. So the first thing that he does is grabbing a cow tit and <laughs> and kind of like pressuring it the right way to, to get the milk out. And if you pressure it the correct way, it can go quite far. It actually tastes really good. Yeah? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I like it. That is literally as fresh as it gets. Like how often am I gonna have a chance to literally try milk right out of the cow? Never. What's the difference between dark milk and what I buy in the supermarket? Um, because this hasn't been homogenized or pasteurized, okay. so, so pasteurizing kills the bugs okay. and homogenizing stops the fat separating from the rest of the milk, okay. the cream. Yeah. So what do you think, Laura? That's some good milk. Pretty good too. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go to the carving shed. They're so clumsy. They are adorable. Andrew tells us like we should put our hands towards the cows like this, and they start sucking really aggressively on our hands. It, it becomes apparent that they literally just suck on anything in hoping that milk will come out. Can you believe that in only two years, those guys will be on that merry-go-round of milking mayhem? So Laura and I have just been delivered beer in the middle of the calf shed. I don't think you can do any better than that. Yeah. <laughs> After that, uh, well, that was a pretty long day for us. I am still very sore from uh, working on the rotary hole. Uh, it was really painful. Uh, then playing around with the car and everything actually was quite exhausting. So we're just gonna have a quick dinner with Andrew and his family, and we are gonna crash in front of a movie. <laughs>